When creating a website, you should always organize your files and your folders appropriately and correctly name each file. I'll, show, I'll go through um, an example of a website I've created and how I've organized it and also named the files. So when creating you, um, the folder that you create, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, it depends on the project you're doing, whether it's a bootstrap website, your first website, um, a website for um, your company or your parents company or your clients company it's up to you what you call it okay once you've done that you'll notice um, you'll have three additional folders in there and an HTML file okay we're going to look at the folders first notice how um, the folders are created and named with lowercase okay is once again is good practice when naming a file you use lowercase that way it will cause less uh, mistakes it will be consistent and uh, the kind of mistakes that you might make is you might forget whether you did a, when you're actually manually writing a script you may forget you've done a capital or lowercase or a mixture of both or all capitals if you do it all lowercase once again it's consistent and it will be easier to um, less likely to make mistakes um, so if we look at um, a CSS folder which is the cascading style sheets we've got two files in there or I've got my files organized so the style sheets go in the style sheet folder the CSS folder any JavaScript files you have you put that in the JavaScript folder once again if you look at the names lowercase in the images folder you would put any images that you created um, you can further create additional folders depend if you want to organize your images into separate folders um, once again this is uh, you should get into the habit and it's good practice to do this because it gets you and makes it more organized and easier to locate any files or add additional files or anything that you're looking for okay um, so we've got the images folder inside that once again I've got the images in that folder and if you look at the names consistent all lowercase no mixtures of capitals or just capitals on its own once again images are there Okay. Also, if you notice there, I've got index file. This is basically the um, universally a default page of a website is called index. When you upload your website eventually on a server, um, if you don't specify what the home page is, what the web server will do will automatically locate a file called index or index dot, sorry index.html or index.htm and it will load up that file. If you don't have a, a file in cool index then um, the server may find it a bit hard to actually locate your file and it won't actually load up your website unless you specify what your actual home page is cool universally if someone else was to take over from your website or actually you create a website for someone else they'd know that the home page what the home page is without having to ask you because it's called index.html so that's your folders uh, so consistent remember any separate files do not have one massive folder with all your CSS files your image files your JS files your JavaScript files and your um, HTML files organize it as much as possible at the end of the day you get more marks for it if you're doing your assignment or if you're doing uh, an exam based on HTML you get actually more marks if you organize it correctly and consistently throughout the actual task